Welcome to the Deep Dive. Today, we're looking into something really fascinating. A recent auction, yeah. It brought these incredibly rare scientific papers to light, all tied to someone you've definitely heard of, Alan Turing. Exactly. And our mission today uh, for this Deep Dive is really to unpack what these documents mean. It's not just about the, well, the staggering Christ they fetched, but their actual historical significance, you know, yeah. what they tell us about where modern tech, the computers we all use, actually came from. And the story behind how they were found. I mean, you won't believe how close these things, these priceless artifacts, came to just being completely destroyed. Oh, it's unbelievable, really. This uh, treasure trove of papers found basically gathering dust in a loft. A loft. Yeah, in Bermondsey, South London, just during normal house clearance back in November. And they were, I mean, this is the crazy part. They were literally about to be shredded. No way. Shredded. So just sitting there, not exactly climate-controlled storage for papers that important. How did they get saved? Right. Pure luck, almost. So the backstory is pretty interesting, too. These papers, they're called off-prints, sort of like early copies of academic work, yeah, mm. given out before the final publication. Okay. Well, Turing's mother, Ethel, she gave them to his friend, Norman Routledge, who was also a mathematician. He kept them. And then much later, it was Routledge's nieces and nephews who actually saved them. Ah, so it was family who found them. Yeah, they apparently recognized the significance at some family event. Just sheer chance, really. Mm. Uh, Jim Spencer from Rare Book Auctions, he said, nothing could have prepared me for what I was about to find. He described them as uh, seemingly plain papers that represent the foundations of computer science and modern digital computing. Just imagine finding that. Incredible. And okay, so they're saved from the shredder. But the story doesn't end there, right? They went up for auction. That's right. They ended up at an auction house in Etwall, Derbyshire. The whole collection, 13 different lots, was initially estimated at around 150,000 pounds. Okay. Still a lot of money, but... But wait for it. The final sale price, 465,000 pounds. Yeah. Over three times the estimate. The exact total was 465,400 pounds. And according to the auctioneers, Hansen's, that's a record for anything related to Turing. A record. Wow. Mm-hmm. Charles Hansen.